Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump just found the FBI's secret mole in the White House stash biggest scandal. Democrats have a track record of doing whatever it takes when it comes to winning and keeping their power. The 2016 presidential election was something to remember. The Democrats put up the most corrupt candidate while the GOP eventually had their frontrunner Donald Trump. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, DNC chair, at the time handed Hillary Clinton the nomination without hesitation. America knew who Hillary Clinton was, and knew exactly what she was capable of. The far left wing of the party didn't want Clinton they wanted Vermont Senator Bernie Socialist Sanders who was cheated out of the nomination by Clinton, and the DNC. Sanders conceded in defeat and encouraged his voter base to support Clinton. That wasn't going to happen. The Clinton camp knew they had to do something, and boy did they make a complete mess of it all. Russian meddling stories emerged, the media turned completely on Trump and gave Clinton pass after pass. It was set in stone that Hillary Clinton would be the 45th president of the United States. The voters weren't stupid and elected Donald J. Trump. News started to drip out that Hillary Clinton was cheating her way to the presidency, and the voters were the only ones that didn't want her in. The media and every single special interest out there wanted Hillary Clinton because she had power, and could give them everything they wanted. Political influence was the biggest sponsor of the Clintons. Just recently it's been discovered that the FBI wanted Clinton to become president, and sent a 73-year-old spy into the Trump campaign to report back anything that was juicy. The 73-year-old academic reportedly has deep ties to American and British intelligence, having served in the Nixon, Ford and Reagan administrations, the New York Post reported. President Trump tweeted Friday that confirmation of an FBI plant in his campaign would become the nation's all-time biggest political scandal. Reports are there was indeed at least one FBI representative implanted, for political purposes, into my campaign for president, Trump wrote. It took place very early on, and long before the phony Russia hoax became a hot fake news story. If true, all-time biggest political scandal. The New York Times and Washington Post reportedly have known of Stefan Halper's identity for weeks, but chose not to reveal his name. Then on Thursday, the Daily Caller named Halper in the opening paragraph of its report. The Washington Post said it received warnings from U.S. officials that revealing Halper's identity posed a security risk. Fox News. So who exactly is Stefan Halper? According to Newsweek. A U.S. citizen with doctorates from Oxford and Cambridge, Halper served in the Nixon, Ford and Reagan administrations before becoming a fellow of Magdalene College, Cambridge, where he is a senior fellow of the Center of International Studies. He was also a consultant on Russia and China policy issues to an internal Pentagon think tank known as the Office of Net Assessment, according to public records cited by NBC News. In the 1980s, he was reportedly involved in a spying operation for the Reagan campaign that involved agents passing classified foreign policy documents from the Carter White House to the Republican candidates' team. Halper reportedly flew Trump foreign policy aide Papadopoulos to London and quizzed him on alleged Russian efforts to boost the Trump campaign and undermine Democrat opponent Hillary Clinton. Page told NBC that he met with Halper and did not find his encounters with the academic concerning. Papadopoulos has not commented publicly on the reports, though sources close to him told the network that Papadopoulos had met with Halper in 2016. Liberal outlets like Mother Jones recently put out a headline that reads in huge disappointment. The FBI's super-secret Trump informant looks to be Stefan Halper. We call this Trump derangement syndrome where the media knows everything is a lie and hopes they can lie their way into convincing the American people they made a huge mistake choosing Donald Trump, and he's a horrible man despite his track record of being in office. The economy is booming, Americans received a huge tax cut, government is becoming more transparent thanks to President Trump on Twitter, and his press secretary keeping the media in check on a daily basis and making sure they know the facts. Paul Krugman called it treason to out Halper, but was completely trashed by Steve Robinson on Twitter. Others have noted that Halper, a longtime asset of MI6 and U.S. intelligence, is a rabid Trump hater who openly supported Hillary Clinton during the 2016 U.S. election. I believe, Hillary, Clinton would be best for U.S.-U.K. relations and for relations with the European Union, Clinton is well known, deeply experienced and predictable. U.S.-U.K. relations will remain steady regardless of the winner although Clinton will be less disruptive over time, Halper, who served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Political Military Affairs and Senior Advisor to the Department of Defense and the Department of Justice, said. Zero Hedge
Jack Posobiec brought Halper's hate for Trump out in the spotlight when he tweeted a BBC article with audio of Halper claiming how much he loved Hillary Clinton and hated Donald Trump. When will the media realize the American people have caught on to their fake news? The constant Trump bashing has turned more viewers off than Rosie O'Donnell's Twitter account. President Trump has been fully vindicated several times, and yet we're still dripping out more, and more lies and scandals brought on by the deep state, and Hillary Clinton's campaign including the DNC, and the Clinton Foundation. Let's hope AG Sessions has a plan, and knows exactly how to nail Hillary Clinton to the wall and bring down the deep state. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.